Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In the last video, I demonstrated how to create this custom content template to replace the default blog page using the improved block element module in GP Premium 2.0. And in this video, I will be showing you how to create a dynamic page here like this using block element and generates blocks. So here we have written by, followed by the author name, post title, categories, post date, and some excerpt from the post content. Let's get started. First, we will go to dashboard, plugins, and make sure you have installed GP Premium version 2.0 or above along with generates blocks. Now let's go to appearance, elements, add new, block, create. Under element type, we will select page hero. Now let's add in our first container block. Let's open up the spacing options and we will go with 160 pixels of top and bottom padding with 20 pixels of left and right padding. In order to use a dynamic background image, which is our feature image, we need to first add a background image to this container so we can activate the dynamic options. This can be any images. For size, we will go with 1040 pixels. Position, we will go with right top. Now we can use the dynamic background image option and select featured image. Now let's go inside the container and add a grid wrapper. We will go with a full grid to start. Select the container inside the grid and we will use a 66% container. Next, let's open up the spacing panel and set our top, right, bottom, and left padding. We will also add eight pixels of border left. Let's open up the colors panel, set a background color, reduce the opacity to 0 0.8, and then set our border color to a baby blue. Now let's add some content inside our container. First, we'll go with a headline block, select paragraph, click dynamic options. We will go with post author name. Let's add some before text and we will link it to the author archives. Now I will quickly give some styles. Let's add another headline block. This time we'll go with H1, dynamic option, title, and we won't use a link here. And again, I will quickly style it. Next, we will add another container block, which will hold the categories and post date. 
we will toggle on inline post meta items. I will remove all paddings here and add 20 pixel to the bottom only. Inside the container, we will add our first headline block. We will use paragraph, click dynamic options, type, we will go with list of terms, and we will display category, term separator will be comma, and we will link it to term archives. Let's quickly style it. Let's add another headline block inside the same container. Again, paragraph, dynamic options. This time we'll use a post date. You have the option to replace with updated date or remove if updated date exists. Let's remove the margin bottom. Lastly, we will add a GP dynamic content block. Type, we will use post exert. We'll set the exert length to 20 words. Remove the theme read more link since we're on a single post. Now, if you're using Generates Blocks Pro, you can also select the container and style it with a little bit of box shadow. Let's go to the display rules. Look for post, display to all posts, and publish. Let's take a look. You will notice that feature image is also displayed here, post title, and our default meta. Let's go back to element. Click the element menu item. You have the options to disable title, disable feature image, and disable primary post meta here. Click update, reload our page. Now those elements are removed. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.